and welcome to story time with Mrs. Bates. And I'm going to read the story called Tiny Ranosaurus by Nick Ward. Many, many years ago, when the world was a wild and dangerous place, when everywhere was covered with volcanoes and jungles, and when fierce dinosaurs ruled the earth. fiercest dinosaur of all was Tiny Ranosaurus. Because he wasn't as big as all the other dinosaurs, Tiny had to be particularly fierce to make up for it. So he learned to roar the loudest roar and clash his jaws the hardest and pull the fiercest faces. He was the loudest, hardest, fiercest, grumpiest little dinosaur ever. Even as a baby, Tiny had been a handful. He stamped and he growled and he would kick up a storm. But today, Tiny was even grumpier than normal. He had an awful toothache, which was not good news for everyone. As you know, dinosaurs love to eat. I'm starving, grumbled Tiny as he sat down to breakfast and bit down hard on his favourite food. Ouch, she cried, my tooth. Oh dear, said his mum, you'd better go and have that tooth pulled out. <gasps> No way, cried T Tyrannosaurus, and off he went to find his friends. Tiny stomped through the jungle in a grumpy mood. His tooth ate and his tummy was empty. Then just round the corner, he came upon Triceratops eating in a clearing. Smiled Tiny. He roared his loudest roar. He pulled his fiercest face and bellowed, Charge! Off he goes. He's going to find him, isn't he? He's going to all eat all his rock cakes. Careful, Tyrannosaurus, cried Triceratops as Tiny barged into him. Yum, yum, yum. Ouch! Tiny screamed. My tooth. Ow! Perhaps, said Triceratops, you should go and see about having your tooth taken out. <sighs> Not a chance, Salt Tiny, I don't need it out. Tiny stomped down to the river. I'm starving, he moaned. And then he smelt the fresh berries and followed the scent to a group of Apatosauruses. Charge, he yelled, and he stormed towards them, picking up a bunch of berries and slamming shut his mighty jaws. Ooh, do you think that's going to hurt? Ow, 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 she cried, my tooth. Oh dear, said the Apatosaurus, perhaps you should see about having it removed. I won't have it removed, sobbed Tiny, and stomped off to the nearest volcano, where he found his best friend, Vilociraptor, who was eating an apple. Food! Food! thundered Tiny, roaring his loudest roar and pulling his fiercest face. Stop, Tiny! Stop! yelled Vilo. And as Tiny got within nipping distance of that apple, he clashed his mighty jaws. Yow! How tiny. What's the matter with you, munch Milo? I'm sorry, Milo, said Tiny, but I'm so hungry and I've got a terrible toothache. Oh, perhaps you should go to the dentist and have it taken out. No, screamed Tiny. I won't have it removed. And stamping and rolling and growling and grimacing, Tiny Ranosaurus kicked up a real storm until all the clouds churned and lightning flashed everywhere. 
But when the dust has settled, Tiny still had a terrible toothache and an empty tummy. Oh dear, he sighed. Perhaps I had better have it removed. Open wide, said Dr Stegosaurus, peering inside Tiny's mouth. Tap, tap, tap. How does that make you feel, he asked. Ooh, much better. Thank you, said Tiny. Good, said the dentist. You'll be able to eat something now. I can, said Tiny, and jumped up, mouth open, and went chomp. <gasps> oh, Tiny, sighed his mum. Please put the dentist back. Oh, poor old dentist Tiny had eaten him. Oh, dear, oh dear. And that is the end. Thank you for listening.